finally, we have the season finale. Lady Lily here, back with another video presenting Housewives of Potomac season two, episode 12, the season finale. So the episode pitched back up. Uh, as you know, it was not um, on last week, probably due to the BET Awards and the premiere of the um, TV show Power. But the episode pissed back up there at Cherise's um, house. Remember, they was celebrating the reveal of the champagne room. And Karen feels like she is under attack. Um, she wished the girls would just, um, you know, celebrate and share um, in her happiness with her move. Um, she's saying she's pretty emotional right now and she's not up for the big ring nor is she's up for the fights um she's tired of the girls questioning her about her move karen simply saying they really need to just mind their business um karen had mentioned to the girls that they was going to be able to see her house soon because she was having an anniversary party and she said, you know, due to the behavior of today's events and with the prior trip, she feel like um, everyone is not going to be invited. She did hint around that the theme of the party will be exotic and we shall see from there. It goes on to Robin. Robin finally has a sit down with one um, who is right now considering taking a head coaching job with a women's basketball team. Robin was just giving him a, you know, a recap talking about, you know, the attention she was getting from guys on the trip and how she was seeing a therapist. And she talked about the assignment that the um, therapist had given her. Um, Ron mentioned that he didn't know she was going to therapy. He also felt like the girls was like really in a business. And he told them uh, what's the status on their relationships. Yeah, Juan did a dig there. But anyway, um, Robin mentioned to Juan that she wants to spend the next six months, you know, trying to figure it out, you know. Or after, I think, after, I think she was challenged by the therapist to take the next six months to see if she can, you know, kindle um, something with Juan. And if not, if it don't work out, then she got to bounce after six months. So, um... Robin pretty much tell Juan she wants to spend time with him. Uh, Juan say he, um, he's, I guess he said he's open to that, and they're going to see what um, what happens. Robin did also go on to ask Juan, you know, she um, went on a date where he had cared, and he said actually um, he would have. So we'll see what happens with them um, and see what this conversation and talk and feelings will take them we finally get to see the inside of Karen's home it is a max boxes are everywhere and um Karen seems not to be able to find a thing she mentions in this segment that the house has nine bedrooms I believe she said it was 14,000 square foot she said um, the house really isn't a downside. She said, you know, you marry older men, but now, you know, when you marry older men, don't let him, you know, make you downsize before she, you are ready. And looking at this house, this house is big as hell, y'all. I mean, that backyard, the house is huge. This is really not a downgrade. This is just really a shift to a whole nother area, town, and state because now they're in Great Falls, Virginia. So Karen and Ray, the anniversary Karen is talking about would be um, Karen's and uh, Ray's 20th wedding anniversary. Karen is thinking about something exotic, um, Indian, Bollywood style, bright colors, festive. And Ray is saying, you know, we're African American. You know, we really should, you know, do something African culture based. So it looks like what's going to happen, they're going to try to meet in the middle so that way they can have the best of both worlds for this celebration. From there, we see Giselle is having dinner with um, Kevin. So they're pretty much catching up since they haven't seen each other because 
Apparently Karen has, not Karen, um, Kevin has been out of town. Giselle has been out of town. And this is really just the meetup for her to just say, you know what? We really should just remain friends in the friend zone. I really think Kevin wants to go ahead and take it there, but Giselle is to hold up. And this is really the confirmation to see that, you know, it's not gonna go any further and they're just really simply gonna be what yep friends then we go from there to monique's house which is worth 4.9 million dollars monique invite the girls over to get the first glance of the home uh her and chris is so that laid uh laid back because they was talking about how hot it was in the house and Chris was talking about, you know, he going to get Alabama Alabama on them and just, just put a box fan in the window or something like that. So the girls arrived to check out the house. Uh, Kevin, Ke um, Karen is adding her two cents, talking about her and Ray had once lived in the area and it was a smart investment for Monique and... You know, Monique was showing the girls around and they was in the master bedroom. She somehow she's gonna, you know, it was like a wall that, you know, that the bed would go towards. And they said, oh, this would be good. You know, this stone wall would be good for the headboards. And Monique was like, well, actually, I'm thinking about making that area like mirrors and putting mirrors on the ceiling so we can see each other when we get down. You know, Monique is a real freak. And, of course, Karen's over there, you know, this is just not my taste in, um, you know, and decor. So anyway, um, Sharice has suggest that she, um, sage her house. And if you ever watched the housewives of DC, when, um, what was that girl? Linda, um, uh, Linda got her new house. They went around and saged the house. And what the saging does is pulls to rid out the evil spirits. It pulls to rid out the um, old and ring in the new. So they was going around the house and saging the house to get rid of the bad energy. Um, so we go to Karen. Karen is talking about the anniversary party. And it's going to be a uh, Indian and African theme mix. Then all of a sudden she just bust out and said, Ashley, yes, you're invited. Um... What was I saying? Oh, and as she was like, um, had hey, it look like really bitch, you know, whatever. So they went on to say, um, as she was saying, you know, since, you know, Monique is new to the neighborhood, maybe we should crown her the Duchess of, um, Potomac. And, you know, Chris can be the Dutch of Potomac. Meanwhile, Karen is still, hold on one second. Oh, Karen still mentioned, oh, she can be that because yet and still, I'm still the grand dom of Potomac. Well, bye. You not in Potomac no more. Remember, you in Great Falls. It is the day of the anniversary party, and Karen um, is dressed. She is channeling Bollywood, and Ray is looking like um, Prince of Zamunda from um, Coming to America. So, um, Karen gives Gray, um, Ray a little anniversary gift and it's, um, pictures from her photo shoot that she took a few weeks episodes back of her in a shirt and tie and, you know, Ray talking about how he's such a lucky guy and all that good type of stuff. So Karen and Ray are still, um, doing their last minute touch-ups and the guests are arriving. The girls are looking lovely in the, they're fitting the theme. All of them pretty much go with the Bollywood Indian style um, setup with the exception of Monique. Um, all you see is just people face dropping like, oh, what the hell going on? You know, that looks. So Monique apparently took the wrong impression when they said Indian and she was dressed as a Native American um, Indian. She had on the big, like, Indian chief headpiece. Don't know how the outfit goes with it. It was shringy and all this type of stuff. And Giselle was like, um, was Monique um, making a joke or did she really miss the memo? And I guess Monique really referred to that, you know, when she said Indian, she thought, like, Indian, like, chiefs and Indians. Uh, Robin was mentioned who the hell are these people. Apparently, these are not the known people of Potomac. Um, 
They don't seem like the typical crowd of Potomac. And then Cherie said, maybe they are the typical crowd of Great Falls. So, Greg, uh, Ray, I said Greg. Well, I'm getting Greg from, must be thinking about Greg from Power. <laughs> but um, Ray and Karen make their grand interests um, into the party. Um, they're waving and, you know, Giselle's like, um, could you stop waiting? Just come down there and just greet your people normally. And then from there is um, the first performance of the night, which consists of like Bollywood dancers. Um, they're very colorful and lively and exotic. And everybody is just saying how, you know, yes, this is true Karen fa uh, uh, fashion. Um, you know, prior to that, Giselle was just saying where the drinks at, where the food at, what the hell is going on. But once that performance was completed, they moved them out into the outdoor area of the house. And that's where you see more entertainers. They have a um, henna, uh, uh, an artist doing henna on the arms. Um, that's where all the cocktails and the food and all that stuff is pretty much um, set up. So Karen is, you know, finally getting to talk to and mingle with some of her guests. She told Monique, what the hell you got on? And she said, clearly, um, Monique has missed the damn memo, um, mem memo on the email she sent out about the attire and the theme. So um, from there, uh, we see Michael, you know, Michael came with Ashley. So Michael and Chris was up there chatting up at the bar. And I was cracking up because Michael was like, where is the furniture? Is this a stunt to hide something or make up for something? And Chris was like, well, I hope they got a bed to lay in and do other things. So it was just like, wow. They was like, well, maybe we should go around and who going to go around? And Chris said, not me here. I'm a black man. I'm going to get in trouble. Then uh, Michael said, well, I'm dressed up as an Indian man. I can get in just as much trouble. So they're cute. But it was like, where the hell the furniture? And Chris was, yeah, I hope they got a damn bed. So... Yes. From there, they continue on and they move into a tent. And this when you go into the African culture. So they have African drummers and dancers and um, Ray and um, Karen are doing, you know, African dance. And from there, they, you know, want to thank their guests and do a greeting. And the kids um, come up and they do a presentation to the parents and um, there is a phone call recording that came in from Georgia, who is um, Karen's mother. As you all know, Karen moms have dementia, and she's not at her best. So it meant a lot to Karen to hear her mom's voice and send her and way um, well wishes. She was touched by the, the uh, well wishes so much that she just started crying. Meanwhile, um, Ashley is apologizing to Robin uh, from budding in her relationship and being um, so forceful. Uh, Robin said she has decided she's going to give the next six weeks, I mean, not six weeks, but to take the next six months to focus on her relationship and see if there's anything there with her and Juan. Um, meanwhile, Sharice is making amends. I keep touching my damn head. See, that's how you tell you ain't got hair and you ain't used to hair. You keep playing with the damn head. This is a headpiece that I had purchased. Um, but yeah, you know, that's how you tell you ain't got no damn head when you keep playing with it and you get here and you play with it. So anyway, um, uh, is trying to make amends, um, uh, to Karen. She was just, you know, wanting to see what was going on and just seeing the changes and all that good stuff in Karen and just wanted to move forward. So like everybody was at a happy, peaceful place. And at the end, you know, they always do a montage of the girls to give you updates on where they're at. So first up is Sharice, and they said as of that episode, Sharice was so inspired by renovating the, um, sh the room to make the champagne room that she ended up renovating the whole house. She has not been in communication with Eddie and apparently has yet to receive any divorce papers. Meanwhile, Robin saying her and Juan are making time to spend with each other. She quit therapy and... I think that's, um, and it's not clear if those rumors about one dating someone was true. Giselle, her and Kevin, they said her and Kevin remain friends without benefits. She currently um, is dating a retired football, now a retired basketball player that she had met in the gym. And apparently mom has the approval 
on this one. Oh, sorry, just getting my notes here. Monique, they said Monique and Chris had um, celebrated their fifth wedding anniversary in Dubai and Thai, um, Thailand. She is uh, still working on perfecting the home and technically they had not moved in yet. And then they said um, she um, installed a new shark tank within the kitchen at the new house. Ashley, according to Ashley, um, their, her and Michael uh, relationship is still rocking. The restaurant apparently has not broken even yet. And Emu is, remains on the menu. Let me tell you, I Googled um, Ashley them restaurant and I don't know... You know, from that time when they stopped filming for the episode to like now. But then I looked up on their menu um, just to see like what type of stuff they said. And it's and it seemed like they got a mixture of things. Like if you didn't want to touch anything like Australian wise, it's like you can come in there and do it. Um, they do have like classic hamburgers with fries and they got like you know regular salad so it's not like you go there get salad with kangaroo balls or something in it but i looked it up so you could if you want to get some of the australian stuff you can but if you didn't if you want to stick to more chick um traditional stuff like they do got chicken wings um you could drink a pop and not kangaroo piss pop or whatever but it seemed like you know they had some Australian side desserts, but then they had stuff like apple pie and cherry pie and, and regular cake. So looking at the menu, you could come in there and get a mixture of things or just not touch the Australian part at all and just be Americanized. Um, the prices, I looked at the prices, they really wasn't like dirt ass expensive. It was very affordable by the way. So yeah, so like I said, it might have been a turnaround time from when this show stopped airing to now because I did go online like the other day just to see, you know, what their menu was looking look, looking like. So it might have made changes um, since filming. For Karen, in her montage, it said her and Ray is a joy the next chapter of their life. Um, she is working on being the grand dom of Great Falls. Virginia, finally, but she says she still consider herself the grand dom of Potomac. So that is pretty much it. It's a wrap for the season. Um, they will be showing the reunion next week. I am going to continue with the um, reviews for the reunion. So um, yeah, we'll see. I don't know if that's going to be one or two episodes, I'm assuming. It may be delayed next week. It might not come to Monday. I'll try Sunday just because um, I'm going to be traveling a bit. So I don't know how it's going to work with my, you know, um, departure and arrival back and the timing. So if it don't come out next Sunday night, trust, trust that it will come on Monday the latest. But that is it. That is all like comment, subscribe. Have a good evening. Peace.